Hey, how's it going? Good. How you doing? What do we got? This is a Tori Hanzo sword signed by David Carradine, who played Bill in the movie Kill Bill. Sweet. Love the movie. David Carradine played the uh, head of a group of assassins. They all had really weird names, uh, Black Mamba. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole snake thing was just kind of silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These swords were signed by David Carradine probably about 10 or 11 years ago. I used to collect swords, but now they're just collecting dust. I'm looking to get about 2,200. I want to sell these swords because I'm hoping some collector who loves the movies, who loves Kill Bill, can properly display them in some beautiful place. Kill Bill. Couldn't have came at a better time for David Carradine. The guy was pretty much broke. Uh, Quentin Tarantino just happened to be a Kung Fu fan and pretty much offered him a role. He didn't really get paid all that much for it, but it kind of brought him back into the limelight where people were actually paying him to sign swords and do signings again. Yeah. Kill Bill was originally just supposed to be one film, but by the time Tarantino was done, the movie was four hours, so the studio released it in two different parts. That ended up being a really good decision because both films killed it at the box office. So, nerd replicas. Yeah. This one is the demon sword, which was Bill's sword, and this one is the bride's rampage sword. OK. Do you mind if I take a look at them? No, go ahead. OK, the swords aren't really much, man. They're made in China. And the blade's made to look like it's tempered. It's not really tempered. No, I agree. What are you looking to do with them? I'm selling. OK, um, any idea of how much you want for them? 2200 OK, that's, uh, that's quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that before he died, these were going for about 80 bucks a piece. So I'll tell you what, let me have a buddy of mine from a PSA come down, and he knows the autograph world better than anybody. And he can tell me if, since he's died, if they've gone up that much or what the deal is, all right? All right. I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. I think it's great that an expert's being called in, because I'll get the signatures authenticated, and I might learn some more things about this piece. Well, I got some signed David Carradine swords. Oh, cool. Um, when you talk about like the 70s cult classic type actors, you know, he was a you know B-movie guy. He did over 100 movies, ended up being pretty popular. I mean, he had the whole kung fu thing. And then once Kill Bill came out, his popularity went insane for a few years. And then he ends up dying in a strange way. Yeah. But you know, people still are really into this guy. David Carradine carries a little weight within the autograph community. I mean, he kind of went through a period where no one really cared about him, and then he went through a big explosion where he got popular again after Kill Bill. He was really fan-friendly, so there's still plenty of it out there in the marketplace. What are your concerns, Corey? I've had the David Carradine signed Hattori Hanzo replicas. Before he died, they were going for like 80 bucks. I don't know what they're worth now. Well, yeah, that's usually the thing. When somebody passes away, their signature ends up going up in value. I just want to do a few things. Want to just take a look at the signatures, make sure they're live. All right, that's the first one. Um, second one, same kind of exact pattern on there. Definite live. There's no doubt about that. Looks like a Sharpie. Uh, the next thing I want to do is just take a look at a couple examples of his signature. Um, the guy was pretty sloppy when he signed. So very simple. You could see here an authentic example. I see this big D here, and I'm starting with that. You get the heavy lean. He curls in on both of these Cs, and it's just kind of sloppy. So live ink, no problem with that. Signatures match perfectly. Definitely authentic, no doubt about that. OK. So what do you think they're worth? Well, are these rare? No. Are they cool? Absolutely. Um, I put the value as a pair of these right about $600. Yep, it's better than what it was. Appreciate yeah. it. Sure. <laughs> good to see you there. Thank you. Yep, Appreciate good luck. It. Thanks. The thing with the swords is I would classify them as manufacturer memorabilia. They're really neat looking pieces, and they look like the ones they use in the movie, but it's just kind of a manufactured piece, and he sat down and signed them in a production line, so they're really not that rare. They're just kind of cool. It's a pretty big jump to 2200 <laughs> yeah. man. Um, yeah, sure What is. are you willing to take? Oh, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. I didn't, I didn't really expect them to be worth so little. You know, I would give you, like, 200 bucks for him. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking, like, you know, 1,200 would be, like, my bottom, you know? 1,200, I... We're not going to be able to make a deal, man. Right. I appreciate you coming down. I appreciate down. it. Thanks. Take Have care. Have a good one. 
$200, that's just way too low. I mean, I understand where they're coming from, but in my opinion, these are worth much, much more.